I'm here at the Community Service Center, a part of the School of Social Work Complex here at the University of Texas at Arlington. Many programs and services are offered to Tarrant County. Hood says universities across the country are already moving towards tobacco-free campus policies and hopes UT Arlington will do the same. A relatively new percussion group, the African Brazilian Ensemble adds a new flavor to the percussion world here at UTA. The ladies of Lambda Theta Alpha and the gentlemen of Lambda Theta Alpha Phi Beta at UT Arlington join forces to bring awareness relief and hope to the people of Haiti. A relatively new percussion group, the African Brazilian Ensemble adds a new flavor to the percussion world here at UTA. Dr. Michael Varner decided to form the percussion ensemble a few years ago after teaching the world music class for almost 30 years. Varner says a variety of African Brazilian drums were purchased with the help of the provost and several other departments. So each semester we not only play the rhythms of the drums, which is what you heard tonight, but we also talk about why the rhythms are important because each culture approaches the rhythm and, and approaches how the drums work together in a different way. The University of Abafemi Alowo in Nigeria sent Professor of Percussion Kunle Pimeloe to UT Arlington to teach the ensemble about African drum beats come to you know, learn at the same time to impact to, to um, the, the cultural exchange to teach African drumming while I also learn American, American drums. Architect Junior Ricardo Leon, a member of the ensemble for three years, enjoys learning about other cultures through music. Yeah, Brazilian ensemble is just sort of the right fit for me. I just meet once a week and I, I love it. I'm learning a lot uh, that I haven't the UTA community can expect to see the ensemble perform in March and lead the parade of flags around campus during International Week later this semester. UTA News, Michelle Everett. The UT Arlington Division of Student Affairs and Campus Recreation are providing an opportunity for all UTA community members with disabilities to get involved with adaptive sports. Move and Mav Center Anthony Pohn helped assist the clinic led by athletes and coaches with national and international experience and says the clinics emphasize the importance of sports and recreation. Teaching them the game, showing them the rules and meeting and greeting with some of the world class table tennis players. Pohn says participating in other sport camps helped campus recreation locate world class table tennis players to help teach the game of table tennis. Everybody networks and keep in touch with each other so you know it's, it wasn't it wasn't that easy but it was easy enough everybody was willing to participate. Dallas Maverick Jr. Adrian Crutcher participated in the clinic and says he was first introduced to wheelchair basketball while in the hospital and has been playing for almost a year now. Oh, well, it's a good clinic. It's a, you can learn a lot here. There's a lot of good teachers here. Crutcher says he learned a lot from the workshop and recommends it to anyone. I thought it was real fun and I enjoyed it. I didn't think I was going to have that much fun because there wasn't that many people. Pone says the clinic is a great way to open the door to a world of resources for adaptive sports programs people might not otherwise know about. <laughs> Michelle Everett, UTA News. The ladies of Lambda Theta Alpha and the gentlemen of Lambda Theta Alpha Phi Beta at UT Arlington join forces to bring awareness, relief, and hope to the people of Haiti. International Business Junior and Lambda Theta Alpha Beta President Gustavo Delgado says his fraternity teamed up nationally with Habitat for Humanity and American Red Cross to help alleviate those who suffered from the earthquake in Haiti. To kind of stress the importance of donations because while goods are, uh, goods are are a good way to help, your money goes a lot further because that goes directly to the Haitians. Delgado says he hopes the candlelight vigil and events like this encourage more students to participate in relief efforts. Uh, sometimes I think it's a shame that I see students show up to maybe like social events, but when it's stuff to matter that matters, it, it's really discerning and very, it's very sad that not too many people are involved. A local Red Cross representative began the candlelight vigil by speaking to students regarding the many ways students can help the Red Cross. In addition to UT Arlington, Texas Wesleyan University and the University of North Texas participated in the National Haiti Awareness Event. UTA News, Michelle Everett.